Hello Pisces and welcome to your 2024 yearly reading. This is for Pisces placements in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you do have um, zodiac signs in those placements that is not Pisces, please see the corresponding video to get your overall picture. We'll be pulling multiple cards for each month of 2024. We're going to cover your overall energy, finance, love, career, and general advice. As you can see, I do not have any of your cards currently on the table, so please allow me to get those and I will rejoin you at your reading. Alright Pisces, I am back. We are all ready with your cards on the table. So let's jump into your uh, January. Let's see what's going on. We have happy, happy. Okay, uh, they're giving me social interactions. Um, so whether that is uh, with loved ones, in a social scene, you know, um, out and about, you know, shopping or social public, uh, interacting with your coworkers. There, there's a lot of joy to be found. Um, a lot of laughter, a lot of jokes. Okay, good times. Interesting. Well. Let's see what else is here. Finances. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. Okay. Well, that is interesting. I kind of get the sensation that uh, finances, uh, your concern with those are something of the past, which I kind of like. <laughs> so we'll keep moving here. Career, we have the Ten of Cups. Yay. Uh, okay. Come ready. Uh, Ah, co-workers, okay. Uh, you, you probably have your own uh, friend group at work. Whether you see them outside of work or, or not is, and no, never mind, but um, you have your own little, like, tribe, your own little friend group. Uh, this is actually where this happiness is coming from. So, um, lightning, you know, making light of the hustle and bustle the new year the chaos just it's a light-hearted energy a light-hearted vibe putting you at ease making sure you enjoy yourself and let's face it work is not always fun and it tends to be very stressful but when you're around the right people it's fun it can be fun there's fun moments there there's inside jokes there's laughter you you get through the day Okay, and love. We have the lovers reversed. Okay. Hmm. That is a very interesting energy. For those of you that are single, uh, it, it feels like you're that way by choice. You're happier that way by choice. Others of you, you've actually split from somebody recently. And that seems to be for the best. Others of you, please make sure you are making wise choices in the month of January when it comes to your love life. So just, you know, just be aware. Is it 
kind? Is it true? Is it honest? Uh, you know, will it make you happy? Is there a benefit to the choice before you make it? You know, don't open foot, insert mouth. Or open mouth, insert foot. There you go. Um, they get to me backwards for some reason. Okay, and general advice. The wheel. Yes. Good luck. Things going in your favor. Happiness. Joy. Mmm. Yeah, some good karma. That's a fantastic way to start off the year. So I, I want to say that you're you're glowing a little bit, um, or going through a glow up in some fashion. Either way, it, it is is nice. It really is. February we have orphaned. Okay. Left out. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. Finances. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Well, that's definitely one thing to mourn or feel left out on is a good stability when it comes to your finances. That's upsetting all on its own. Very much so. Um, hmm. We're going to keep on cruising. Career. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yes. Invest your time wisely when it comes to your career. Uh, if you do so, you'll get um, better, better benefits, better rewards. Overall outcome will be better. Mm. And it'll help you from being left out, whether that's left out of a bonus, left out of a project, um, maybe left out from being um, recognized for, for some reason. Um, perhaps, I don't know, maybe you, do, you guys do some award system or something in your workplace. Love, we have the Empress in the reverse. Huh. Left out. You may be feeling a little neglected by your preferred uh, gender. Things may not be going oh so great. Um, Ah, uh, and some of you, you're actually neglecting your own self-care here. Which, let's face it, we just got out of holiday season. We experienced Thanksgiving. We had Christmas. We had New Year's. A lot of us have been hyped up on caffeine, alcohol, sugar, and overeating of food. Um, so perhaps we're just not feeling too hot. We're not feeling all that attractive. What's our general advice? The Six of Pentacles. What you put in, you get out. Um, there has to be balance, moderation. Yeah, very much so. Okay. Because for everything that takes, there's got to be a give somewhere. Or where you give, there, there's there got to be a takeaway. Either or. Whether that is in no work, you reap what you sow, or yeah, maybe you just overindulged and you're realizing a bodily effect, or uh, maybe you're sluggish, and that doesn't make you feel all that um, attractive. But that's fixable, that's fine. Okay, March. What's going on in March? We have a change in the wind. Huh. I'm hearing Dust in the Wind by Kansas. So, look, let's see if there's any way that ap applies other than the fact that this is, um, and, you know, a, a wind card. Maybe that's just my ancestors being sarcastic. 
All right, finances, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm. We're still headed down in that particular area. And let's see, the previous month that showed the Ace of Cups in the reverse. So perhaps even though things seem really tight um, and show no signs of improving, perhaps that is what is going to be changing soon. Um, and we'll see come April if that actually does change. Okay, career, the Five of Wands. Okay, a, a little bit of competition going. You will need to probably up your game. Utilize your potential and skills to the fullest ability. So, things may have started out slower in the beginning of uh, the year. More comfortable, more laid back. And now it's time to put your nose down to the grind. Love, we have the hanged man. Okay, I just feel that this is awareness. An awareness when it comes to love, especially how you think about love. Whether that's um, idolized love, romantic love, uh, single, dating, married. We all have certain aspects and ideas about love. And this seems to be like your awareness um, has tuned in and, and shifted. So perhaps maybe some of the values that we had um, previous or expectations we had previous are, are now being called into question. Maybe they're being challenged in some way and you know the light bulb goes off of oh that doesn't fit my definition. What's wrong? Is that wrong or is my definition wrong? General advice the seven of pentacles in the reverse yeah, you're not going to see results if you don't put effort in. I think most of that's over here with our finances and how we manage our finances. But, and beware of the energy you give. Um, and especially for those pertaining to love. If you're coming into question of an idea that you previously had. And whether or not it's right or it's wrong. If you discover that that idea no longer applies, don't feed it anymore. Um, you know, if you think you've been doing things back ass word, you know, don't keep going forward with that same false narrative. If you've identified it as a false belief, then let it go and don't put your energy into it anymore. Don't act that out. Instead, refocus in a different area to make things better. April. We have breathe and the reverse. <laughs> I'm getting the word uncomfortable. Okay. So perhaps something is just not stressing you out to the point where you're hyperventilating, but it, it's a little discomforting. So not exactly peace and harmony, love and sunshine, but uncomfortable. That's an interesting word. Okay. Finances. We have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Oh, okay. Yeah. We haven't quite mastered our money managing or our money making. So we don't have a full handle on our finances for the year as of yet. Um, and, and of course, it's the last experience you have with money overall. That's definitely a reasonable card to have. I mean, if you are somebody who's, say, 18 and you just started working at age 17, of course you've never really um, learned how to manage your money thus far. 
or how to invest it or utilize credit score or anything like that that can be pertaining to your finances. However, still not having a full handle on it, yes, that, that's uncomfortable. That I totally get. All right. Career, the Six of Cups in the reverse. New memories. Uh, uh, okay. So instead of having older memories, having nostalgia, whether those memories are good or bad, um, it's a new year, so it's definitely time to have new experiences, have new memories to either, you know, discard or hold on to. Hmm. Perhaps you did have some uncomfortable memories concerning your work and now we're trying to rewrite or override those. Love, we have the world card in reverse. So for those of you that are single, um, sad to say you are still single, but if that's what you're wanting, uh, even though maybe society says you should have somebody and that can definitely make you uncomfortable, you know, you're busy doing you. Um, and the current phase uh, of that is not over yet. For the rest of you, I, I get the sense that something is incomplete. It's not fulfilled. It's in incomplete. Um, I, I don't know if that is something to do with, like, your family. Maybe your family is incomplete. There's a sense of, yeah, in being something being incomplete and uncomfortable. Perhaps you're at that awkward stage in your relationship. Perhaps you've grown apart in some fashion, so you're trying to bridge the gap or change it in some way. That's our general advice. The death card in the reverse, yeah, things not changing. Not changing fast enough, not changing in the right way, not changing in the way you expect. Uncomfortable. Okay, I get it now. <sighs> Maybe more like an awkward stage overall for the month of April. Well, let's see what May holds. No place like home. Well, that seems like a, a switch. We went from uncomfortable to no place like home. Well, if you think about home, home is the place where you're usually the most comfortable. Why? Because it's home. It's for you. It's your own personal space. And home is what you make it. Okay. And apparently some of you some of you are either moving into a new home or looking for a home. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect from that energy. We're gonna keep moving on. Finances, the moon card in the reverse. I always like the, the moon card, at least in the reverse when it comes to finances, because that's usually something coming to light. Uh, you know, a new way of doing something, new information, but at the same time, this is also um, you finding like random money, money you stashed from yourself, um, you know, finding out you have an inheritance or uh, things like that crop up under the moon in reverse when it comes to finances. It's actually quite nice. Um, and perhaps maybe some of you are inheriting a home. Hmm. Okay. 
career, the two of swords in the reverse. Okay, we're very uh, on the ball. Somebody asks you something, you have an answer for it. Um, you know, you're presented with a lot of options and you make a decision right away. So you're very on top of things. Things are going fairly smoothly when it comes to decision making, choices, and, and knowing which way to go. We're not exactly questioning that or having to pause and think so much about it. Instead, we're just keeping the ball rolling. Love, we have the two of wands in the reverse. For those of you that had things feeling awkward or incomplete, um, you're now on the move. So that delay is now in the past. You're moving forward. Maybe not quite the way you wanted or expected, but you're moving forward now. Others of you, love is not your priority this month. Your focus is elsewhere. And what's our general advice? The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Well, working on yourself is uh, not really your area of focus. Not at all. And most of this does say not, not your area of focus. Hmm. On the other hand, that may be what you actually need is to make sure that you give something your utmost potential, your utmost ability. So being present and giving things your all for the best result, for whatever skill set that applies. logical mind um, at just being you but also just being present being engaged um, finances whatever your strong point is on on that and I don't mean spending money but um, perhaps you are just good with numbers so balancing your checkbook actually to see if there's any money missing maybe you need to play more into your strength maybe that will reveal something to you um, this month hmm okay we're gonna walk away from that we're gonna move right on to June Oops, and it helps if I pick up all the cards. Between Worlds, okay. So, new chapter, new phase. Or one is on the horizon. Feels kind of like maybe it's on the horizon. Let's see what comes out. Uh-huh. Finances, Ten of Cups. Yes, bravo, much better. That at least has shifted. Things are going well. Not only are you pleased with what you've uh, made uh, and what you are uh, spending on or saving, this also means that um, we can be a little bit more carefree. You're probably uh, not just paying the basic bills, you're also going out and having some fun. And you can financially afford to do that. 
career, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Downside to having fun with our bunny and going out and doing things means maybe we're having too many late nights. That means maybe we're having a little bit too much fun in some ways. Um, and for that, our work is kind of suffering. Uh, beware of doing things like showing up late to work or not getting all your tasks completed or, you know, even being hungover and just and not being able to give 100% while you are there. Love. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. Wow, some determined choices, good choices um, of where we would like to go, what we'd like to see when it comes to our love life, whether that is us pursuing a relationship, us entering or exiting the dating pool or maybe this month we are just the one delegating in our relationship what's our general advice i'm curious a uh, queen of swords in the reverse okay Yeah, beware of moments when we are not the most focused. When maybe things are a little bit more confused or we're distracted more. Because that can halt us. And it delays us making decisions. Um, like I said, beware of not being on time or maybe being a little hungover. Not being able to complete tasks. Hmm. Yeah, use your logical mind as much as possible. Gain as much clarity and insight as you possibly can. Because the last thing you want to do is be uh, left out on details or how something works all the way. Or be left out on uh, two sides of the coin, two sides of a situation. If you're having to make um, choices that involve multiple parties. July. Poised. Hey, I love it when we get positive cards. It's always great. I am ready. I am ready. Okay. I'm ready for what? Let's see. Finances. We have the tower. Oh. I would like to say this is a good tower, but I have a feeling um, this may not be the greatest of towers. Uh, whether that means, you know, you decide to do things um, like taking a vacation and it costs more than what you thought it was going to be. You have extra expenditures, um, you know, perhaps you have an extra medical bill or something like that and it, it eats away more of your money than what you expected. Maybe your car breaks down. Uh, but I don't feel this is the greatest of towers. Sad to say, but there it is. Career. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, yes. And Nine of Pentacles is very, um, very great. Not only are we... Uh, very fabulous and very well orchestrated at work. I am ready. Uh, yeah, it's you being ready for abundance. Um, you're very tuned in to getting things done. You're 
are very much productive and you should count yourself as somebody who's done a, a you know a job well done and for some of you this month is the month that you're gonna get recognized for all the work you do so perhaps maybe a promotion on the horizon Or at least some acknowledgement from somebody of higher standing. Whether that's a direct boss, supervisor, somebody takes notice. Love. We have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. Some of you are definitely ready for, for love to take the plunge, however... It does not seem to be reciprocated if you are if you are single. Interesting enough, I get some of you are ready for like the next stage in love, but those words don't seem to be forthcoming from the other party. Hmm. Some of you have certain expectations when it comes to, to love. And somebody may shoot down those expectations. Not not as in a full-on rejection. Like say you were thinking somebody was going to propose to you. And that did not happen. So there's a little bit of a letdown. Hmm. Okay, we're going to move on. And general advice, eight of cups in the reverse. Yeah, it, if you're single and your love's not reciprocated, you're not giving up on love. You're and you're not giving up on the idea of someone um, or giving up on yourself that you are lovable, which is great. That's fantastic. You're definitely holding on to where you're working. Um, there, there's no reason for you to um, go elsewhere. Finances, brace yourself. Yeah, like I said, I don't feel like this is the, the best tower. And you may just have to write it out. Hold it on and write it out. For those of you in love that do not have your expectations met, uh, you might have a wait and see situation. Um, perhaps the timing was not right or a certain set of circumstances and things did not progress. The way that you had predicted, the way that you were hoping um, for... Because I get the feeling that uh, you are prepared, you are ready, um, but the other party is not, or something. So we're going to keep an eye on that situation, see how that changes. August. Higher power, okay. Some help, some assistance. Just trust your intuition. They're giving me the third eye. Trust your intuition. Finances. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to your expenditures. Or what areas you need to focus in. Definitely trust your gut. If something says, oh, uh, no, don't buy that. 
you're, you're, you're gonna regret it later. Listen to that little voice that says that. Um, it's probably there to, to warn you that you either won't have enough money or it's a bad purchase. Um, just trust your intuition on that one. Career, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Debbie Downer, okay. Lacking a little bit of motivation and inspiration. Seems kind of absent. So, some of you are gonna have a little bit of creative blocks this month. But once that goes away, you, you'll feel it. So if you're not inspired by something, you're going to know it. You're going to know it right away. Because you're either going to be full steam ahead or, and it'll fly by, or you're going to be tired, just be, what do you mean I have to do this? <laughs> okay, that's a tough energy. Love the Three of Pentacles. I always love a Three of Pentacles in love. Not only because that means everyone's doing their share, everyone's pitching in, everyone is working towards a common goal, which, let's face it, in love, you want a partner. Um, so being able to solve problems together, being able to enjoy the good stuff together it is always great. Whether that's building the relationship, maintaining the relationship, or even going out on a date and trying to find the right person to build with. That is fabulous. Okay, general advice. We have the Page of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, m mostly I feel this is pertaining to the career and your finances. It's a little lackluster. Um, your heart's just... Uh, not really exactly in it quite so much um, you know it's not giving you very optimistic high vibes of it being thrilled of being curious or as I said creative and you're gonna notice right away whether or not something is a very much for you and turns you on or if it's turning you off and I apologize for my dog so excuse me while I step out for a sec all right I am back the dog is now um, uh, pacified <laughs> where was I oh yes your your intuition will let you know whether or not something is uh, off or not going to be the most stimulating thing for you. So yeah, you're either turned on or you're turned off. Um, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. Let's see what September brings. Observer in the reverse. Ignore. Okay. What are you ignoring? Finances. The Three of Pentacles. Well, you're not ignoring your finances, but um, if we're building our finances, if things are going well, we don't need to really take a closer look at it. Um, we can let it ride. <laughs> And, and that's always a, a good thing to see. Because that means things are building, things are escalating. We're able to not have to give it the death glare every three seconds. So we can relax our guard a little bit. Career. The chariot. Yes, things are on the move. 
things are looking better than they were the previous month. Okay. So whatever we had uh, as a blockage being less than enthused the, the previous month, uh, that is apparently over. So that past issue is not something that we need to go back for and bring to the future. It's dead, done, over with. We're now definitely moving on. We're looking to the future. And feels like you're actually moving, moving at a fairly fast clip, actually. Okay. So where you might have lacked motivation or energy the previous month, that has changed. Great. Love, we have the Four of Swords. And the reverse. Wow. Well, you're definitely not ignoring your love life. Um, seems like you're either speed dating, <laughs> prioritizing seeking somebody. In fact, you might be giving them too much attention. I get the sense that perhaps you are giving them all your free time. So perhaps you're dating and it's a new relationship uh, and you want to spend every moment you can with them. So they're getting all your free time and you're ignoring yourself in favor of them. I'm not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing, but at the same time, you still have to do things like sleep and get a whole bunch of other stuff done. And you might have been putting that on the back burner. General advice, eight of wands in the reverse. Yeah, slow down, slow down. You might actually be missing a couple things, not just in uh, love, but also in work. Because, yeah, you're moving at a really fast clip. Yeah, slow down. So don't ignore things um, like details. Things may need to be a little precise as well. And if you're moving too quickly, you might forget something. Ignore it, gloss over it, um, bypass it on accident. So um, you might want to moderate your pace a little bit more. Okay, October. Tick tock in the reverse. Yeah, we're taking our time. We're slowing things down. I just said moderate your pace, and here we have TikTok in the reverse. We don't have to run this like it's a timed marathon. We can slow it on down. It's totally fine. Okay, if I can pick up the card. Finances. We have the Knight of Cups for finances. Oh, yes. We are loving where we're sitting. And try not to put a stopwatch on that. Um, your finances kind of have been back and forth, back and forth so far this year. Um, so don't spend time being yay about your finances and then go, oh, so how long is that going to last before it goes right out the window? Don't naysay it. <laughs> Please don't naysay it. Career, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Hmm, I feel like you have a lot of choices. Yeah, a lot of choices, a lot of options. 
but you're not wanting to make make a choice yet. You're pondering something. Maybe this is how you're going about things. Or maybe you're contemplating um, new ways to do things. Trying to work something out. For some of you that's changing like departments or things like that. Maybe changing a slight role. Um, but there, there is no pressure to make a, a final choice. R really, it's not. Um, it's not like this is a be-all, end-all choice that has to be made in the last, you know, two minutes. Love, we have the Emperor. Okay, you are very much on top of your love life. And you seem to be a fully well in control of it. So if you want to be single, you're single. Uh, if you are wanting to look for somebody, well, you're going out there and you're taking control of the situation. You're going out there and you're trying to give yourself opportunities to mingle and talk to people. I'm getting the sense of boldness. So maybe you're actually being the one who initiates a conversation and that's not normally you or are you asking somebody else on a date hmm. okay but it's not like you're pressuring yourself either you're just putting in honest honest effort in Okay, what's our general advice? The two of wands in the reverse. Yeah, we're not waiting anymore. As much as we're not rushed, we're not waiting anymore. Um, like I said, you're taking control of your love life. You're enjoying your finances where they are for the time being. We're pondering something here. And it's okay if we make a decision or it's okay if we leave it. Like I said, there, there's no time constraint on that whatsoever. So, all is well. October is a month that all is well. Okay. What about November? We have Treasure Island in the reverse. Okay, I get the sense there's something you couldn't protect. Let's see what that is about. Finances. We have the sun. Well, your your actual moolah, your money, your dough. Um, your bank account is uh, not what you're not protecting. That seems to be on the rise. Very much so. So it's not what you're lacking abundance in by any means career we have the hermit in the reverse not protecting oh okay maybe there was a the choices and options you were mulling over before you were doing that on your own and, and now you're no longer doing that on your own um, so perhaps what you were mulling over was something to protect yourself maybe even gain some knowledge on and now you're moving on because you don't have to have that phase anymore Uh, what do I mean? Maybe, um, maybe you have a store contract and you were looking at your store contract and all the policies and regulations in it and looking at your options for, uh, like a transfer or dress code or, or something like that. You were gaining knowledge. Now you have it, um,
you now have that armament to protect yourself, whereas before you didn't. So that has changed. Okay, interesting. I'm going to keep on going. Page of Pentacles. Oh, you want me to back up a little bit. Okay. Hermit in the reverse. Uh, if there's still something you don't understand, perhaps seeking some outside advice. Maybe there's somebody that can help you. If there's something that you're not understanding. Maybe you were looking at a pay scale or, or something like that. Maybe you need to go to HR and be like, okay, make sense of this um, to me. You know, make sense of my vacation time that I now get since I've been with the company for 14 years. Um, you know, what does that mean for me? Okay. I'm going to move on from that. Page of Pentacles. <laughs> the opportunist, yes. Um, for a lot of you, that's you having fun. Your finances are good, you're going out, you're taking more opportunities to go out, have fun, meet new people, have new experiences. I mean, if you're already dating or if you're married, you're, you know, you're not always by yourself. You're sharing the wealth. <laughs> yeah, general advice, the sun and the reverse. Uh, be aware of a, a negative uh, mindset of doubting the good times while you have it. We have double sun energy here. We have the sun for finances and the sun for your general advice. Treasure Island, of course, is a abundance card and we have it in the reverse. So um, beware of magnetizing your abundance away by uh, questioning how long it'll stay or when the next shoe will drop or something like that. Why? Because that's leaving you unprotected. Instead, feeding into the energy that you have everything that you need, you have more than you can spend, um, that you are blessed, you know, positive affirmations. This is what we're looking at right now. That is a more valid approach to keeping this positive energy than holding your breath and waiting for something to screw up. December. If I remember it, we have extra cards for your December. Message in a bottle. Oh, yeah. I kind of feel like this is new. New communication. I'm getting love vibes, so we'll see how this turns out. Finances. The Emperor in the reverse. And no big surprise here, because we're in December. This is the end of the year. So, we've kind of lost uh, the, the reins on our finances. Extra bills, a lot of going out, sometimes travel for holiday season, extra people, um, gift giving and buying, and <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of us lose control over our finances. We blow our budget and everything else in December. So. I fully expected to see this, and I have no clue where I've got the hiccups now. Okay, Ace of Cups in the reverse for our career. I'm getting two words, sad and tears. Okay. So perhaps somebody at your workplace is leaving 
retiring, leaving, transferring, maybe that's the message you get. So you don't get to see that person as much anymore. Aww. That I get. Um, we are currently about ready to lose one of our management team that we're all contemplating tying her to a chair so she doesn't leave. So that energy I totally get. Okay, I love. We have the a Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay, yeah, definitely a, a love communication, not maybe necessarily the one you wanted. Some of us, uh, words are a love langu language, um, and some of us are really good at expressing ourself when it comes to love exactly what we want what we need saying the words I love you and others of us utterly fail when it comes to that so sometimes some of us especially those of us where verbiage is not our love language we utterly fail when it comes to that. So when we communicate, we may send a message, but it it's not going to be, you know, honey dipped words uh, of romance and it's not going to be overly gushy or a anything like that. Um, You may be desiring to either do better with that kind of thing yourself when you speak to others, or instead of having somebody that falls flat in that area, you might now be realizing maybe you need somebody that does that for you a little bit more. I mean, we all have our off days where we, we say something unabashed or unfiltered and sometimes that message is very shocking to the other party, um, depending on how well you know each other. <laughs> and sometimes being unfiltered and in your face is the best way some of us can express that type of love language. Um, it's just like pulling up into your French driveway going, get in the car, you idiot. <laughs> and it's, it's time for us to go. I mean, it's not that we literally think they're an idiot. Um, it's just us uh, greeting a friend, and they know we're not insulting them. <laughs> Interesting that that's coming out. Okay. Differences in love language, or need a difference in love language, or perhaps your way of communicating with those um, of a romantic interest. You take on your own unique brand of a love language. Hmm. I'm going to leave that there. And they gave us two general advice. We have the Four of Wands and the Reverse and the Three of Cups. Hmm. Yeah. You're very much not on the foundation where you would like to be, but you're supporting yourself the best you can. 
it's the end of the year, things are hard, things are transitioning over to the next year, a lot of things are going on, you're busy, holidays, lots of family stuff, you know, you get the crankiness and excitement of everyone around you, and you're just doing the best you can, or where you can. Um, even if you feel like things are not the greatest. And that's really all you can ever ask of yourself is to do the best you can. Hmm. Alright Pisces, that is all I have for you for your 2024 reading. And if you did find any of this um, resonating or useful, by all means, give me a big thumbs up. That lets me know the quickest way possible that you resonated with the reading. And if uh, you find this content interesting and you are not subscribed to my channel, by all means, feel free to do that. I hope to see you soon. Bye.